You know what time it is. It's another week. We have another movie haul. Uh, every week we go out, we collect movies. And I've said before, if I'm if I'm just going down the road and I pass a thrift store or something, I'm going to stop. And uh, so I don't usually just pick a day and go. It's anytime I leave the house, if I just happen to be around or a place. And sometimes I plan my trip around stopping for movies uh and i always have luck i find stuff that either i'm trying to upgrade into the collection get a better box art better better copy because some of the stuff is beat up and used um or it's stuff i just i've never had before not every single um movie has come to every format so there's been you know like 60 something thousand uh home releases of movies in the on vhs but even less on DVD and Blu-ray and 4K. So not everything has made it to every format. So I still collect the VHS tapes. Um, and so like very first thing off the bat, we got uh, Three Men and a Baby. Uh, this is one I grew up watching. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I didn't own it and I just had to pick it up for a buck. I couldn't go wrong. Uh, this is another one. I do have this on Blu-ray, but I do enjoy having the older movies on the VHS. So for a buck taxi driver i love that cover excellent excellent film and uh um you know it's just iconic 70s cinema so uh, for a buck i had to have it um this one here these are the next two movies are they're they're okay to me they're my more of my wife's favorite she likes them a lot more than i do um i think they're okay but for a dollar i had to add them to the collection and we have down periscope uh, which is it was fine I, I i did enjoy it i didn't hate it but wouldn't have been my first pick it's probably why i have never had it in the collection and for another buck mikhail's navy so um eh, another one it's enjoyable definitely enjoyable i recommend both of them uh they're fine films uh, but for a buck i couldn't pass them up uh, meet the parents now this is one i've never owned it uh so adding it to the collection now and it is on dvd i know that this has probably been released on every format including blu-ray um i didn't really care so much for the sequels but i did like the first one quite a bit uh this is another one i missed uh i missed out on uh when it was when it was new i just never added it to the collection as mission impossible so mi1 uh for three bucks at big lots uh yes big lots still sells dvds and blu-rays and sometimes you can find like older 360 and ps3 games there sometimes uh but for three bucks mission impossible i had to add it to the collection it's actually out of all the mission impossibles i really do enjoy this one i just have never owned it so for three bucks i had to add it and uh this one this is one my kid picked up uh, she's really super into the batman uh well and pretty much any of the lego cartoons she's into it so batman lego movie uh she had to have it for a buck uh and yes blu-rays are at thrift stores now so um they're considered like old media now uh but i i find them not not as often as some of the other things but once in a while i'll find some blu-rays uh, this is one here. I saw it when it first came out and then I just never picked it up. And so for a buck, I had to grab it, uh, from Paris with love. Um, it's just a fun, fun action film. John Travolta, nothing crazy, but definitely enjoyable flick. Uh, here's another one. So as far as the, um, you know, I grew up in the, I I've seen a lot of the 007 movies, but I grew up really in the Pierce Brosnan time period. Um, but I think this is my favorite bond is Sean Connery. So we got some Goldfinger right there uh, for, this was two bucks. So for whatever reason, this was two bucks. Uh, I still had to pick it up and I like it. It's, it's definitely one of the early releases because the um, the box, the case, everything is really solid, heavy duty plastic. Uh, and the original DVDs were used to come with these, not slip, uh, slip covers, uh, booklets. They had all this like information, but also like what other movies to look out for. I really do like that material because they don't do it anymore. So picking this up at the time when this was new, what other movies I might want to catch or try to look for? Maybe I don't have that in my collection. It's the same of watching the VHS trailers. I, watching an old movie I haven't seen in 20 years, popping it and seeing the trailers. I find movies that I've missed 20 years ago and that I'm going to look for now because they look pretty cool. Uh, this is another one. I didn't own it. Uh, we're the Millers. Uh, saw it a couple times. It's funny. I enjoy it. Uh, for two bucks, I, I had to add it. Uh, this is another one. Um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. Nicolas Cage is uh, Drive Angry. Uh, it's got that supernatural element. I'm super into that type of stuff. Um, it's not really heavy handed, but it's got that element. He's obviously from hell at some point. It's it's a fun it's a fun movie. I I enjoy it and I highly recommend it. Um, this is one here uh, for two bucks. 
uh, Return of the Jedi. So uh, another one, I, I have many, many copies of this. I usually try to pick one up every chance I get. My kid watches these movies nonstop all the time. And uh, just in case we ever need to replace one, I, I have extras. Uh, that And sometimes maybe there's some extra commentary or stuff that wasn't on another version that I have. So that's the other reason I do collect as, as many of those as I can. Because for a buck or two bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, here's another Blu-ray I picked up for two bucks. X-Men First Class. I uh, I missed out on this one when it was new, so uh, glad to add it. Uh, and always always like having a, a Blu-ray to add to the collection. It's very uh, doesn't come up as often as some of the other ones, unless I'm buying brand new. Uh, let's see. This is one here. I don't have this in the collection till now. So DVD uh, Queen of the Damned. I liked these books when I was a kid. I remember reading. Uh, uh, reading the book series in high school and I thought it was pretty cool and then the vampire interview with the vampire came out absolutely love that film and so this is the sequel to that now this is a mixture of a couple of the books I don't remember exactly how many I think it might just be two kind of mixed up and so it kind of fell flat with a lot of people and then uh, this was an interesting interesting one because at the time uh, when she was done filming this uh, she passed away Aaliyah passed away and uh, her brother came in to kind of do some of the voice work that she needed to and then they kind of adjusted the adjusted the voice to to make it fit for the movie uh, it was just an interesting thing but I, I did really enjoy this film um, and uh, yeah Aaliyah was just stunning in this uh let's see this is the next one i've never owned this in my collection when it was brand new i watched it a bunch of times i mean i remember renting it probably every other weekend if there was nothing else to rent i would rent this movie and uh i died laughing every time and i don't know why i just never bought it so for two bucks can't go wrong big daddy adam sandler uh i think i think a lot of the earlier and adam sandler stuff not like the beginning stuff he did but a lot of the early stuff he was doing great and still holds up i just watched happy gilmore the other day and just died laughing hadn't seen it in like 20 years uh and it's just a great film and so i think i'm going to have that same experience watching this one and uh glad to have it in the collection um and this one here i have not seen this since it was brand new so american wedding goes uh, along with the american pie series uh i think this is the last one in the run or maybe there, uh, there's another one. I think American Reunion might have been the next one. Uh, so, so I'm slowly finishing off this collection. I know they made a bunch of ones afterwards, but with the original cast, I think that's where I'm going to keep my collection. And so, just adding this in, really looking forward to giving this one a watch. And now this, I have had this on VHS for the longest time. However, um, I the the tape needs it, it's it's not shot, but like there's some parts in it that when it pop it in, they they the, the tape is probably crinkled. It definitely messes up. The words are all messed up. The the pictures kind of scrambly, but then it, it gets better afterwards. Uh, so I've had it in the collection, so I don't watch it that often because it definitely has a couple parts that are like that. But so now Delirious, uh, Eddie Murphy. This is a great uh, pickup to have. DVD is in excellent condition. So uh, looking forward to sitting down and giving this a watch and giving it a laugh so that is the haul for this week again if you uh, like the video you like this kind of content uh, please like share subscribe and uh, we'll catch you guys next week